Hello guys and welcome to episode 13 of my Baron of Ichi campaign in Still Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Previously we started to clamp down on the Soviet forces behind our lines and today we're going to continue to do more of the same but also of course head towards Minsk and Bobrusk. So let's start by just wiping out a few more of these disorganized troops shall we? We'll hit the 36th Guards Cavalry Regiment with the 2nd Battalion of the 35th Panzer Regiment. There we go. One down. A few more to go. The reason I'm using the armored unit in this case is because they have less movement range, which allows us to maintain the movement range on units that have more, allowing us to make more ground as we continue forwards. Uh, let's do the same here with the 118th Panzer Battalion. Brilliant. That's actually making them bring in their aircraft, so it doesn't look like we'll have to actually set up an interception. We'll leave the bottom side for the time being, although I can destroy these guys. Let's do that, get those out of the way, move them up to the road afterwards, that's fantastic. We are going to have to kill off these guys, that's fine, we'll get that. Get to that in a bit. I'm just going to continue to destroy these other disorganized units. Up on the top here, probably going to use Division Group Kessel and the remains of the 29th Panzer Regiment to hit the 1st Battalion of the 37th Mech and the 32nd Guards Cavalry Regiment. Yeah, we're just slaughtering them, guys. Absolutely slaughtering them. Well, that's not ideal. It's actually relieved those troops. But I can still probably just cut them off again. It's fine. I can probably use the 576th to destroy the 75th Subpowered Artillery Regiment. Fantastic. And that's just going to leave the 42nd Guards Cavalry, which we'll take out with the 507th Heavy Panzer Battalion. Great. So now what we can do is uh, move up past these Panzer Fours with the 1st Battalion of the 611th Security Regiment. I'm also happy to move across with the 52nd Security Division. Well, that opened up a lot of ground. Lovely. All right, so we'll just uh, continue on with Division Group Kessel and the remains of the 29th Panzer Regiment. There we go. Minsk is in our grasp, everybody. It's right there. <laughs> All right, with the 70th Cossack Battalion, I think we'll just head down this way. Oh, there's more troops here. Interesting. Okay, I uh, don't want to get too close to those. I could move forwards a little bit. Might be worth bringing up the Panthers. Yeah, we'll just put the Panthers in the way. That'll do. And then maybe I could head these up and around the top side. We could head back towards like Marina Gorka here. Hmm. We'll take it back to this train line. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> right, let's just continue uh, blowing up the rest of these guys. I will probably attack the 30th guards down here. I can use the 40th tank destroyer battalion. Could also use the assault gun brigade. But I want to make sure that I have groups to hit all of these. Well, those would be called in in phase A. That's not ideal. Let's do it like so. So we'll attack from the south. Great. That's going to use up the action points on the 1001st Star Propelled Artillery Regiment. Um... If I do this, can I actually launch an attack? No, I can't. That's awkward. Maybe I push in from the bottom side here with the 2nd Battalion of the 5th Cav. Like so. 
I don't know if that would push back these guys though. It probably pushed them more towards my AA. We'll give it a go though. Oh no, I actually pushed them up there. Okay, great. That's fine. I don't really care too much about the recon here. They're pretty weak. Let's break down the 13th Guards Motorized Battalion. With the Stugs. And, well, that just moved into range of the 1st Battalion of the 33rd, which is actually going to be pretty disgusting because they're going to maintain their fortifications as they push up. We're pushing them further and further away from the front line. All right, well, the rest of those we can just leave in position until they become disorganized because they're almost out of fuel anyway and supply. So and eventually they'll just get bogged down and we can just have a unit run around and clean them all up. So that's what we'll do. And in the meantime, we'll just move away. So I have my armored artillery move away. I'll probably have uh, these guys come up here. I need to move up my... Panzer Battalion, we'll get the 2nd Battalion of the 33rd to move up. I thought they'd have more movement range, but they didn't. Oh well, this is going to be a nice force for pushing up this road, just in case there's anything like this in our way. I could in fact attack the 35th Mechanized Brigade with my Cav Regiment. That would probably destroy them, it would just take time. I don't think we really need to. Yeah, I think I'm just going to zoom up here. And just start moving away as much as we need to. I could leave my tanks nearby, actually. Because these are going to be a lot harder for them to take care of. Yeah, I might just leave my 576th Construction Battalion behind the 507th there. Uh, down on this bottom side, I might just leave these two where they are as well. These are dug in anyway, so that's fine. This unit needs to move away. Yeah, so there, that's fine. These guys can move away. I'll move the security regiment up the top with the artillery. Brilliant. We're going to leave these units, these five, six battalions, to deal with these four units. And then we'll have something to deal with the recon later down the line. And now let's move up towards their airfield. The airfield is here. So we're getting pretty close. Got to make sure that I don't let my guys get stuck. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there they are. <laughs> We're nearly there, boys. <laughs> Keep zooming up this road. Technically, I could set up the AA, like, right in their face. Keep moving up with our artillery. And also the assault battalion. A-OK, -okay too. Cool. My recon battalion, I think I'll just bring them down as far as I can to try and cut off the units that are pushing through. Okay. That's all of these moves. We'll just move up this one. And now we're going to deal with the 134th Tank Regiment and the 10th Guards Recon Squadron. So let's attack these. I do have more than enough forces here. 245th, we can bring in the 3rd Battalion of the 37th, although that may need just be for their AT guns, if anything. And then we've got the 3rd Battalion of the 509th Grenadiers. They don't actually have any infantry at all, so it's all going to be pretty slow tanks, which means I can probably use my Grenadiers to make a reasonable amount of ground quite quickly. And then... We can just ride up with the Stugs to take care of the rest. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I am just going to have like groups of Stugs. We could have like two on the left here. 
do one, two, three, one, two, three, plus leaders. Great. Do I actually have anything decent? We have a pack 36. Maybe I could use a pack 36 up on the ridge. Because going up this road is pretty awkward sometimes. So it'd be nice to have something that could maybe ambush them from the trees while we do that. Yeah, let's have the pack 38 move in there. Technically that's not the fastest way to get there, so we'll put him over here. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. I could also make use of the IG-33, but... I don't know, if it comes under a lot of fire, it'll just die very quickly. And it's not really able to get out of the way. We'll have three more there. And we'll have three more on the main road here. Make that four. That's fine. We do have a Stug for this one. Actually, we need uh, a couple to go up the hill as well, don't we? Let's use the ones with the leader to go up the hill. We'll have three go through the town. And I'll have my infantry zoom up there as well. We don't have many points left for infantry, though. Right, let's get, grab a few grenadiers. I'm just going to have all the grenadiers on this side. I'm not sure how far up we're going to get, but I'm going to try and push my luck, I think. Like so. Alright, off we go. We do get 9 points per minute anyway, so if we do need anything like recon or whatever, we can bring that in afterwards. I will probably get uh, a recon unit for this church. Just so that we can see stuff from afar. Get an half clutter to just ride up there. Uh, we are actually making quite a bit of ground. Uh, these grenadiers are going to want to get off that road. So just going to get these into their heavy cover. It's going to be hard for their tanks to dislodge them regardless. Because they'd have to get really close to see them. Right, start moving through the tree line with this pack 38. Fantastic. Right, let's uh, bring in the Commandant for the left. Might be worth bringing in a Commandant to the town as well. Great, so the Pack 38 is going to fire, and then we can have the Stugs move up at the same time. We'll have to be careful of the Shermans engaging my pack 38. Never mind. <laughs> One shot will do nicely. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Okay. Well, one of our Stugs just died to a one shot as well. Oh, and the other ones are all turning their side armor. Great. Just what we like to see. That's probably due to the Valentine 9 more than anything. If I unload my Commandant, we can get that extra veteran CSAP, I think. Oh, it's out of range. Oops. Unloaded that too early. Right, let's keep pushing up there. We'll push across the open. And closer ranges, it's not uncommon for a Sherman to trade with a Stug. At longer ranges, though, we definitely have the advantage. And here we're getting rid of those Valentines quite nicely. Okay, let's uh, keep pushing across the open here. Move up with my Grenadiers. We'll move down this Grenadier. Although, probably shouldn't do that while there's a Sherman right there. That's okay. Let's just start zooming up even further. We'll have these come up onto the ridge here. And these can keep pushing round. Great. We'll just have that follow up. I'm going to bring in probably just some infantry to hold the ground in the centre. And on the right hand side here. Although it looks like with the Sherman dead, we're free to move up. Bereit. 
I'm just going to get my pack 38 up. Oh, this is not good range for us. Well, that's a gun jam. Let's uh, back off with the gun jammed unit. Oh, I got killed. That's annoying. Well, trading at close range again. Not flawless, but it'll do. It'll do. We're almost up to the 24 points captured. Well, oh, that Sherman. Gonna wish it did not come up on that ridge. <laughs> Alright, 30 seconds till victory. It's a job well done. Yeah, a couple losses. Nothing too terrible. Yeah, so just a couple Stugs lost, but we wiped out pretty much their entire battalion, so that's great. They should be dead. Yep. Great stuff. That's actually going to end up surrounding the 10th Guards Recon Squadron, which we're now going to take care of afterward. So that's all well and good. Move up with the 40, 245th. I'm going to have the 290 seconds move across the bottom here. May as well just have Group Hartneck zoom up this road with the 33rd Panzer Grenz in tow and the 1st Battalion of the 292nd Artillery Regiment. Right, it's also the 1st Battalion of the 509th. Cool. Right, let's just bring all of these into this fight. What do they have left? So they've got some Kazrad Vidka, they've got three units of Sapoli, Valentine, T T-70s, okay. Should be fine. I think we have AT guns here, don't we? Yeah, we have some. And what are these? Oh, they're pack 40s. Okay, that's that's more than good enough. Great. And we also have some smaller AT guns in phase B if we need them. Let's jump on in. It is a recon unit we're attacking anyway, so they're not going to be able to hold the front line very well. I can maybe try and exploit that a little bit with my initial troop movement. Yeah, we'll have the grenadiers just charge on forwards. And take up ground. And then we can use that information that we get from them to deploy my AT guns. I'll have the AT guns probably on the field from the start. But it's just a matter of like where they need to unload. So I don't unload them early. So we'll have one come to the left. I won't give them unload at position orders. We'll have two go to the center for now. And then we'll have one for the main road. The one on the main road, I don't know how far up I need to put it. So that's why I'm gonna let the grenadiers go first. We'll have one that can come up on the ridge. And I don't know where I need another one. Maybe for the right hand side, but one on the ridge should deal with that. We could have one move up on here, maybe. As long as I take more infantry with me. Reason being is usually like infantry comes up over this ridge quite quickly. Right, aside from that, we could just bring in leaders. I think I'm just gonna launch it. And I will set up that as we go. So I do have a couple of commanders, actually, some Hungarian commanders we can use. I've got the Commandant here as well. And then we'll just put, like, Grenfjöder. Grenfjöder. Great. That'll do. Bring an MG over. MG up on the top. Could maybe use a, a recon squad, actually, in the church instead of a MG. That's okay. We can... We can change that. As I mentioned, we are making quite a lot of ground very quickly, so... We'll see how far up we can get with the Pack 40.
I am going to have to be careful. Generally, recon units are more stealthy. There's a bunch of infantry coming down here. Uh, There's nothing too much to worry about at the moment. I guess I could just unload my grenadiers early. We can see the Valentine all the way back there. Those Valentines can be pretty good at wrecking transports, so just as well my grenadiers unloaded when they did. I'm just going to give that an attack move order forwards. We'll keep the Commandant there. That can fall back. This can unload. Great. Put the pack 40 there. Move up the MG. Yep, they are pushing up onto this ridge as well, but we'll have the pack 40 head in that direction. That's fine. Move across the Grenadiers here, I think, instead. I can feel I can accompany the Grenadiers moving up. Let's not waste APCR on a 10 armor unit. Not that we're really going to need APCR throughout this entire battle. But that's not the point. Good practice. Right, let's just unload these and have them push up. Got the commander there anyway. Uh, the Zapaldi are actually a little bit of a problem. I could bring in some mortars. Let's just bring in a few mortars. <laughs> I say a few. We'll bring in six mortars. <laughs> Alright. I don't think I need that reek on there. I'm actually just going to move the recon up to where these grenadiers are. Right, let's move back to pack 40. No point in losing that unnecessarily. I'm going to need it to kill off the armor, so I need to just stop firing that at infantry that can fire back. I could easily have these grenadiers come through, I guess. I'm a little bit worried about them though because they don't have any veteracy, so they're not going to be too good against the Sapelli at mid-range. Okay, well now they're falling back, it's a different story. We can move the pack 40 back up. I can also have this pack 40 start moving forward with the Grenadiers to kill that armor. Right, we're going to put all of these onto fire at well. We do have some supply that we can bring up. Good. Alright, this has soon used up all of its HE shells anyway, so I'm just going to let it fire off the last couple, and then we can use it to clean up the recon units. Oh, good first hit. Well, my grenadiers look like they're in a bit of trouble. My modifier did a great job. And that should be a dead valentine as well. Alright, well there's my total victory. I'll take it. I think for the most part, the units on the right were all recon, weren't they? So they didn't really have any frontline presence, but as soon as we break down the Sapelli on the left, which were the only units that did, all good. Right, anyway, we've got the mortars actually coming down on top of that Valentine now. And we're going to dislodge it, I guess. Or at least I would hope. And that allows my pack 40 to get the job done. I should have the Commandant stay with that. 
We'll just keep things sped up anyway. I doubt that modifier was doing too much, but <laughs> well, total victory, 7 minutes 13 seconds, and no losses, good. That should wipe them out, it did, great, move them up. Alright, I think that's it for this turn, yeah. I could actually uh, put up the interception because it will refresh their activation points or action points on their units in the next turn. So we may as well just have that in position to stop them from using those in any counter attacks they make. All right, let's carry on. I'm curious to see if these units end up without supply next turn or if it's still another turn needed well back to our turn regardless <laughs> okay well the first guards motorized rifle brigade is the only one standing in our way and as far as I'm concerned they don't really have much AT they have some resvodka they also have the F-22s which could do some damage and maybe Avto's at close range but like Panthers, supported by the 1st Battalion of the 5th Cav, should be okay. Anyway, time to wipe out their airfield, or we'll capture it for ourselves. There it is. Boom. They are goners. To the edge of the map. I'm going to need a unit that like sits on top of that. <laughs> That's great though. Uh, we've just completely cut off this bottom side. We'll just get rid of that. Great. Uh, let's just move up towards the road now. I think I'll just move my artillery battalion down there to go and secure this territory for us. We'll put the... That's a good idea. Let's just put the AA on the airfield. <laughs> Great. Uh, and we'll have this Hussar regiment move up. Great. And we'll have the tanks follow that. Because we do have these ones coming down this road. I wonder how far we can get. Got to be a bit careful of this unit. I'm probably going to want to use this to pose a bit more territory so they can't use that to surround us. But this Ninth Guards will probably get back to friendly lines unless I put something in the way. I'm not sure if it's worth putting the Hummels in the way <laughs> just because they would probably get destroyed. Anything else I could put in the way. Maybe the 49th on the top side. I don't know if that stops a recon from getting that far, but... Oh well. Move them up there with those. Are we going to try and stay on top of these if we move up? So we'll follow them. I didn't mean to move up the construction battalion there. That was kind of dumb. Oh well, we'll just leave them where they are then, and uh, the Stugs can move up. We'll move up the security battalion, have them get back onto roads. So I'll leave them all where they are, just in case these turn around and attack the 576th Construction Battalion. And then we can back them up with the at least the tank destroyers, and also the 1st Battalion of the 33rd Panzergrenz. We do actually have some Jagdpanzers in there, so that's all good. Okay, um... The 52nd Security Division, I'm actually just going to have this like drive across the top of the map. But we'll set up defensively near the top side of the map here. 
in case any like reinforcements come in or anything like that. All right. That's the majority of my troops moved. I'm actually going to cut these across upward to help out here. Same with the Cav Regiment, the 1st Battalion. Group part neck can continue towards uh, Babrusk. <laughs> we can have the Recon move up as well. And all of these just need to be shimmied up. I mean, they could actually stay where they are because it doesn't really affect the outcome of the campaign. But I do like to, to think that Maybe we're making our way back now. <laughs> We've turned around the front for the Germans. Given them the initiative once more. Let's just get all of these in the way. Of the recon battalion. So they can't take back any ground very easily. Good. Good. We actually have 40 points to bring in some reinforcements. I think it would be best to bring in some more of the Hungarians. And we have this now available, the Turans on the front. That's cool. Let's bring those in. They can get in the way of the troops that are trying to get out of our encirclement. Cool. So now the only attack really to make is with the Panthers. So I guess let's crack on with this. Uh, they left this unit <laughs> really undefended. I thought they were going to have other units nearby that had action points, but they don't. We won't use the 1st Battalion of the 5th Cav because they don't have... Well, they can't arrive in phase... Um, A, so there's really not much point. I'll just save their movement and maybe we can just zoom through towards Marina Gorka. Alright, it's tactical battle. And we'll jump on in. We're pretty much almost at the end. I reckon after this battle... It I mean, this might actually be the last battle that I play out because I can probably just encircle the rest of the units uh, if I just keep moving through the turns. So there we go. Just set up with our Panthers and drive them into the ground. So yeah, we'll use the Alphacolor Panther D on the right as well. Like that, with a couple Panthers. Have a couple panthers with a leader go towards the bridge there okay that's pretty much most of my men and I'll probably bring in one unit of Kasakan here we have some recon off we go that poor armoured car Gonna come under fire by all of these Panthers. The triple team. Let them go. Yeah, if we come across like any frontline area that we can't take um, in like heavy cover or whatever I have to bring in some like Kazakhan I guess to discover them and then kill them off but anywhere in the open we're perfectly fine to just keep pushing up okay, I'm gonna bring some Kazakhan anyway like across the board I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a mortar. Okay, I was wondering how it could like aim from so far away. Uh, 
I think this hill's going to be certainly occupied by a bunch of units. Just unload the Kasakan here and push up. I have to be careful with these Panthers as we try and make ground. I'm going to grab a couple units to push up behind the Kasakan in the center here. Bring the recon tank plus the panther ray. Alright, it does look like we can probably push up on here. Alright, some Vizy Vod, that's okay. At least my panthers can take care of those quite easily. There is a unit probably pushing us in between that we're going to have to take care of. I might just keep a panther on the left hand side there. Because maybe we'll spot stuff once we get a Kasakan down. Grab another Kasakan. Let's get another few of them just to keep pushing through with us. There's just individual infantry units at the moment that are like standing in our way. Uh, so, for example, here it's just the Avto Komlati that are pushing the front line, and the double Kasakan there will get the job done for us. That's good. I just need to find out what's in between my Kasakan and Panther here, creating that salient. Got to get rid of that. Waiting for the Kasakan to move up on the left side. I can still move up the Avkala Panther D and the Panther, D, Panther A's in the meantime. As long as I don't go near this light forest on the right hand side, I think I'll be fine. Oh, go on. Kasakan. There you go. Beautiful. Alright, so we'll just spread them out a little bit to push up. And then I'll have the panther just move to the edge of the river. Alright, let's move this Kazakhan from right to left. We've got a few more on the way anyway. I might have one of these move to the left a bit more. Getting through the town's actually going to be a pain. Uh, I'm just going to bring in a bunch more Kazakhan to push through there. And that way we can we can lead them in front of our Panthers. We'll never really get caught out because the Kazakhan should spot pretty much all of the infantry for us in advance. I will have to be careful about units like Superli. They can kill our Kazakhan. But so far, so good. Yeah, I think there's a unit in that light cover on the right-hand side that I was worried about. But I could, in theory, push a panther to the edge of the map here. And I think would be okay. Because it would cut them off. Okay, well, let's push up to this bridge now. See if we can get to that far point eventually. I will need probably some Kazakhan to join these Panthers moving through here. There they are. Just probably another leader squad. Alright, 
they are dead. Perfect. Let's just keep moving those up on the right hand side. Alright, start pushing through here with the Panthers. Alright, these guys have arrived. Get the Panthers forwards, and then we'll give orders to these Kasakan. I'm just going to get these into the buildings nearby, but we're killing those quite quickly now, that's good. Uh, the F-22s at the back there might have to be a little bit careful about those. Uh, maybe not so much at range, but we show sidearm and they can still get the kill. Let's uh, start moving on to these. Finish them off. Guy with taking care of this infantry very nicely, actually. More effectively than I thought we would. I can probably push all the way up to that flag now as well. Alright, let's grab a, a few of these and move up this ridge. Five seconds left. We couldn't quite find the total defeat, which sucks. Ah, oh well. As long as they get out of my way, it's all good. They might not actually. Um, are they out of my way? Not as much as I'd like, unfortunately. Okay, well, I'm actually going to move around with Division Group Castle here as well as the 52nd security division and I'm gonna move sort of these guys in between just to try and stop my units from being cut off oh this unit can go really far I don't want to be too close to this unit whoa what did that do I don't know what happened to the <laughs> to the territory there but something happened by me Okay, <laughs> this is pretty much it, isn't it? That's all of us, all of our movements done for this turn. Don't have to worry about their aircraft because they're all gone. So we'll just leave it there. We'll move on to the next turn. On the for one more day. Much needed supplies are being brought up. <laughs> one more day. One more day. Well, they are pretty much all out of fuel now. It's not going to be long until they're disorganized. I'm not going to probably spend my reinforcements, but let's have a look at the casualties whilst I remember to do so. So we have our losses here, 305 soldiers and 26 artillery. Their losses, <laughs> we, we lost one battalion, that was a 70th mortar battalion. They lost 43 battalions so far. 15,392 soldiers, 379 worth of artillery. 645 tanks and the 15 aircraft there. It's crazy. 2,662 Stralki. <laughs> 1,980 Kazaki. 1,152 Kazaki PBSH. Blimey. That's like 80%, I think, of their total forces lost. Oh dear. <laughs> That's not good news for the uh, <laughs> Russian commanders. Right, let's uh, demolish these guys. Actually, it'd be better to do this first. Bombard those. And then we can attack these with impunity. Goodbye. 
and um, yeah, I can probably just drive in behind here, bring these down, and there we go. Just going to move them back up again. Oh, some more tanks, the 17th Guards Tank Brigade. Right, we're going to have to be careful moving these chaps up further then. Might just keep them where they are. I'll move up here. Keep these guys together. Alright, well, from here we can zoom on round. And we can sort of encircle the rest of them. I'm just going to sit that unit there because I think that's just one of those pockets that doesn't disappear otherwise. Yeah, we'll keep those down on that corner as well. <laughs> They're like paperweights. <laughs> Do I want to move all of these guys? Not really. I'm not going to bother. I do need to keep tabs on all of these units moving away from us though. So let's just move in in front of the 19th. I'll move around here. I'll keep the construction guys behind. And uh, I guess these guys can move up as well. Cool. I'm just going to move these forwards a little bit. Block these off. Now we can move those down as well. Great. Have the Cossack Battalion move through. Make some ground for us. Maybe we can cut off these units. Pretty much all this is now is just uh, cutting off the rest of the forces until the end of the campaign. So I'll just end it there. See where they move. I'm going to try and get back to their lines. It's okay. On to the next. I think I messed up that movement a little bit. I could have got pretty far with those. And so far we can go here. Uh, I'm just going to move up my Panzergrands here. And then we're going to cut across with my Cossacks. There we go, that's going to cut off those chaps. We're going to go around them here. I'm going to have these join us. Oh, that has left that unit behind enemy lines, unfortunately. Um, okay, well, all of these are disorganized, so let's destroy these while we're at it. This is what we we're waiting for. Cool. I'll just have this one move next to those, this one move next to these, and uh, this one can come back and attack that one next time. Alright, all of the other units can just start moving away. Cool. Anything getting too close for comfort? I don't think so. Hoping the 17th guards can't hit the guys there. Might just move these potentially in the way. Actually, let's just come down here and make sure they can't get back to their territory. Alright, we'll leave it there. Stabilize the front? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm already pushing back. <laughs> their supply is just gone. This is utterly ridiculous. I'm just going to move these up slightly to recover these guys. And then we're going to zoom down here. Cut them off. And that's it. Well, <laughs> there we go, guys. We won. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, right, the main thing to do is just move away from every unit so they can't attack us. And then, yeah. We will have one. Although a couple of these units actually are going to be disorganized next turn. So we'll kind of move up close-ish, but not too close. Okay, how do they even like recover this? 
I don't even know how it works. I'll just blow up all of these. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that might have been a bit premature. We'll see. The first guards might not even attack Division Group Castle. If they do, then that's fine. We'll just end the turn. Oh, that's it! Victory! There we go. ...to halt the southern prong of the Soviet offensive. Although Minsk has been liberated by the Soviets, Warsaw will remain German for some time to come. There you go. I don't know if you guys heard that properly, but it says, Turning Baranovici into a strong point, Feldmarschall model has managed to halt the southern prong of the offensive. Although Minsk has been liberated by the Soviets, Warsaw will remain German for some time. Well, I don't think Minsk is going to be liberated for long. <laughs> We're almost up to Minsk on the top side, almost back to Bobrusk. Here's a historical outcome. It was a Soviet victory. When the Soviets surrounded and threatened most of the 4th Cavalry Brigade with annihilation, lead elements of the 4th Panzer Division were rushed forward to save their comrades in arms. Although most of the German cavalry troops managed to escape the trap, 4th Panzer's forces were split and couldn't achieve the counter-attack they were planned to do. Meanwhile, 28th Jaeger Division and other ad hoc units attacked in the direction of Minsk, but although they denied the use of the Stubse Bridge to the Soviets, they were never able to recapture the city. I want to lie, look at us, we're almost there. Um, what remained of both the 12th and 20th Panzer and Gruppe Lindig after the escape from Babrusk had to fight their way east alongside the river in heavily wooded terrain. Only by abandoning most of their vehicles and heavy equipment would these fragmented units be able to reach friendly lines, but arriving in no state to return to combat any time soon. You even got the achievement. There we go. Death, death of an army group. <laughs> 52,866 score, guys. We won by a victory ratio of 1 to 33. Not bad. 1,000 or 17,705 units destroyed. And they lost 359. Or we lost 359. <laughs> so, pretty successful campaign, guys. Well, with the uh, Fate of Finland DLC coming up, I will likely be moving on to that before heading back to the Vastula campaign. So look forward to that in the future, but that's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.